Mike and Mary Lutzenkirchen's life turned upside down on the morning of June 29th. And we all went to 8 o'clock mass and um, came home. And it was like 9.30, 9.45, and there was a note on the door. The note was left by a Cobb County police officer telling them to call a 706 number out of LaGrange, Georgia. And you make a call, and, you know, as a father, you're like, okay, you know, what, what did Philip get involved in? What did he do? It just isn't who he is. And then to ultimately find out that the other voice on the phone says your son was involved in a car crash and didn't survive it, it just... I mean, it's, I mean, we were out on our deck and uh, I just, I remember I felt like I turned pale white and, you know, everybody's looking at me and the girls just started screaming. It's been nearly five months since their son left them at the age of 23. Philip Lutzenkirchen was one of the most popular Auburn football players in recent years. Play action to Dyer, out in the front, oh, Lutzenkirchen <laughs> with a one-handed grab, he reaches out inside the pylon, touchdown on! Philip was just this goofy, lovable kid. I think a lot of it was how we've raised our family. He had three sisters, two older and one younger, that kind of kept them in place. Um, they all had unique relationships with him, but they all looked out for him. But, I mean, he'd be sitting in his family room watching a Disney movie just as easy as he would be, you know, practicing football at Auburn. He really just had a, a very, very warm heart, and I think that um, one thing that we knew he had a lot of friends and loved his family, and um, but we have had people reach out to us that he did little things that really, really, really touched people, and it just really makes you realize that all of us can be doing that. Little things, simple things, like signing an autograph or the story of Philip's promise to take a Lassiter High School classmate with Down syndrome to prom. These were examples of Phillips' leadership and compassion that now serve as the platform for the Lutze 43 Foundation. And as student athletes, that, that this foundation is saying is just make sure that every day that you impact someone and you might not get a thanks now, but down the road, somebody's telling somebody who's telling somebody that that happened. And, and it does change the world. Real small little things at a time, but it does change the world. And, um, and Philip had a heart for that. Now, Mike travels the Southeast using his son's life and death to motivate kids. He's even shared his message of faith and giving with the Georgia and Clemson football teams. Pretty convenient to get up here. Yeah, I would bet. One of your shorter drives. Yeah, I recently took a trip to Mississippi to see schools, and I took Philip's truck, and Mary said, you know, it gets terrible mileage, why are you taking his truck? And it was simple as the smell of it. And spending, you know, 12 hours of driving time or more kind of was with me and my son. So those are the things that help you move forward. Um, and that's, that's, you know, you do the best you can every day. Please give Mr. Lutzenkirk your undivided attention. Please welcome him as well. Mike speaks to the Kell High School Longhorns, a powerhouse team in Marietta, Georgia. He tells them statistics of his son's stellar career, including his all-time Auburn record of 14 touchdowns for a tight end, which included the game-winning score in the 2010 Iron Bowl. Tigers down by six. Cam takes the snap, looking for the receiver. He's got Lutzen Kirken. Touchdown, Auburn! Touchdown, Auburn! Lutzen Kirken! Philip got in the end zone and celebrated the game winning touch of the 2010 Iron Ball by doing some little dance in the corner of the end zone. Kicked his legs out a couple times. He learned his dancing skills from his mother, not from me. It went viral. They call it doing the Lutzy. Those skills were imitated by Auburn tight end C.J. Uzama, who celebrated a touchdown against LSU with the Lutzy dance. He had a huge impact on not only my life, but um, Auburn, this Auburn community. So um, you know, I thought it was just a small tribute, and you know, I, I wanted to do it. I know he's up, up there smiling at me. We've heard from C.J. He texts and says, love you. We hear from every one of those. Jeffrey Whitaker calls dad. Mike pops and you know that's all that's all a little bit of Philip that we get every single day. 
The slogan, Auburn family stands strong even away from the game. The Auburn Athletic Department has supplied rare video of Phillip to the family, including Mike and Mary's favorite clip of an interaction between Phillip and defensive lineman Jeffrey Whitaker. How about this? Since you're so big time and you want to ask me questions, I'll let you ask me one question. It's about to be a good one. Go. Right. Three, two, one, go. Define a cumulonimbus cloud. All right, whatever. Listen, we're going to go. I'm not going to do that. Well, why are you doing this? Because you don't know the answer. I want you guys to listen to this part very closely. Mike continues his talk with the Longhorns when he closes with another stat, one that he's not proud of, 0.377. That was Philip's blood alcohol content the day he died. Philip was a passenger in the back seat of an SUV being driven by former Georgia baseball player Ian Davis, who was also killed. That day, those boys abused alcohol. Then they decided to get in a vehicle at 2 in the morning. In the story I've been told, one of them wanted to go get a tin of chew. Mike also addressed the use of seat belts. Click it. Click it or ticket. Seatbelts save lives. My son was totally ejected from a 2006 Tahoe. Philip is gone, but his love for others lives on. It will live on with the Lutzi 43 Foundation that will continue the charity work Philip started. If one child makes a better decision and one less parent has to go through what we're experiencing, um, that makes it all worthwhile. He took us on this wonderful ride. We could high five each other. We could wrestle in this room. And I'm going to wrestle with him again. And he's going to say, I'm proud of you. And, uh, you know, that makes it, that's, that's what's helping us uh, go to the next level.